So number 10, we're supposed to investigate this series here uh, from 1 to infinity, tangent of 1 over n over n to the 1 half for convergence or divergence. So to give you some ideas here, um, converging or diverging uh, by test for divergence, ratio or limit comparison, those are the three options that we have here. Well, we can certainly use the test for divergence. That's the, pretty, that's the easiest one to test. Test for divergence says what happens when we take the limit as n goes to infinity. Well, as n goes to infinity, 1 over infinity becomes 0. Tangent of 0 is 0. And on the denominator, we have infinity. 0 over infinity is clearly going to be 0. So therefore, the test for divergence tells us nothing. Because uh, remember, all that test for divergence says is that if it's not 0, it diverges. Well, we have 0, so that could be either way. So that gets rid of A and B. Um, the ratio test, you can probably tell just from what this looks like that that's not going to help you here. I'm not going to go through it and, and show that, but the ratio test definitely is not going to do anything uh, for us for this problem. Remember, ratio test you generally want to use when you have exponents, exponential functions, and factorial functions. So lastly, we have limit comparison test, and we need to show whether it converges or diverges. So the tough part about this is going to be deciding what do we compare this to. And this is where it's going to take a little bit of creativity. But what you should kind of be aware of is that we have trig identities that you might not remember from back in Calc 1 that are going to be useful on a few problems in this, in this course. So recall that we have this identity. We have the limit as theta approaches 0, tangent theta over theta. This is equal to 1. And this is going to kind of help us decide what we're going to choose for our uh, comparison. Now, we're taking the limit as n goes to infinity when we use a, um, when we use a comparison test. And when we're using limit comparison, we're going to take tan 1 over n over n to the 1 half, and we're going to divide that by some other function. So what you can see here is that if, if n is going to infinity, this inside of the tangent is going to 0. And that's exactly what we need here. So this identity says that if we have the exact same thing that we're taking the tangent of, as long as it's going to 0, which it is, we can cancel that out and it will become 1. So we want the numerator of what we have down here to be 1 over n. Because that will create the fraction tan 1 over n over 1 over n, which by this identity is just going to be 1. And then we can divide that even further. Because remember, that with the limit comparison test, all we need is that we need to have a positive finite number and then we know that these two functions have the same uh, convergence or divergence. We want to divide that by n to the 1 half also, so therefore the n to the 1 halves cancel out. So let me rearrange this to show you how this works, uh, just real quickly. So if you want to uh, multiply by the reciprocal of this instead, so what we're going to get is tan 1 over n over n to the 1 half times n to the 1 half over 1 over n. Keep in mind, I specifically did not uh, combine this one because I want to make this identity more clear. So your n to the 1 halves cancel like you would expect here. We're dividing n to, n to the 1 half uh, on both the top and the bottom. And lastly, here we have tan of 1 over n over 1 over n. As n goes to infinity, this is exactly this limit. So those end up giving you 1. Since this 1 is a positive finite number and we use the limit comparison test, that means our function here has the same convergence of this function. So let's just figure out what this one is. 1 over n over n to the 1 half is just 1 over n to the 3 halves, because really this n is on this denominator. And by p-series, this converges, because 3 halves is greater than 1. So since we compared our series to one that we know converges, 
and by the limit comparison test we got a positive finite number that tells us that our function has the same convergence or divergence within, which in this case is convergence so therefore this series converges by the limit comparison test which on your test there is answer choice D.